You know, we generally tend to worry about what tomorrow holds for us now, don't we? I remember when I was a little kid, I'd always worry if we, if I'd ever get dropped to school on time, if I'd uh, find the right kind of friends, if I'd have a few laughs with my friends, or uh, <laughs> even if I'd get detention during math class. Worry, worry, worry. Now, uh, we all worry, don't we? Uh, if not about ourselves, then definitely about our loved ones, about their comfort, their safety and whatnot. But why do we worry? That's like the biggest question. And the answer is uncertainty. The annoying factor that we really don't know what tomorrow holds for us, that is the cause of worry. There's a famous saying that goes, seize the day and don't worry about the morrow. What that means is, live for today, live today to the fullest and don't even think about tomorrow. But um, that's not a very easy thing to do, honestly, if you ask me. Take a look at the animals behind me, feeding. Or even take a look at the birds of the air. I don't think they worry about where their next meal is going to come from. And yet, in the Bible it says that your Heavenly Father feeds them. And I love the way Jesus puts this next question across to us. He asks, aren't you much more worth than these animals? So what I'm trying to say is, you'll never know what your tomorrow holds for you. Search all you want and probably you'll never find it. But what you can be sure of is that you are in the safest hands possible. His hands. And if that's the case, what is there for you to worry about?